welcome back. So, uh, what are we going to talk about this week? Well, we're going to talk about coding. Uh, because it's something that now it's part of my life and um, I see that there is this buzz um, especially toward um, women and girls coding and I just wanted to bring my own um, how should I say input point of view um, regarding the situation so um, well as you know or if you don't know uh, there's not a lot of women in tech and it's kind of weird um, I actually am coming from a country Romania that has a strong math and uh, science program in school and um, So we're used to with doing that since early ages is like I don't know where 14 15 you start programming now probably even earlier I, I don't know anymore the situation. It's been a while since I finished school in general um, so uh, the situation with coding there in my, my home country um, is very balanced and we're one of the top players in the world in the IT uh, industry but it never occurred to me that actually around the world the situation is kind of like how should I say scarce regarding women in tech so I'm happy when actually I saw I think the campaign started I mean the first time when I noticed it was maybe September uh, I saw this ad on Google um, uh, they were actually um, uh, trying to get attention to uh, the situation with this website it's called made with code and I clicked on it and I saw some interesting information and the resources uh, as like how, how to get started to code and to understand that coding is not just something that guys do or for geeks or for gamers or for whatever it's something that it's useful and we use it in our daily lives in all sorts of areas actually in all areas of our lives and a lot of the consumers of technology are actually women uh, women and um, there's not a lot of women in tech or as like entrepreneurs in, in the tech industry which is a huge industry and it's a it's the industry of the future so I was very happy when I saw the initiative that um, women and girls are encouraged to code and now I see programs here in the US and around the world starting to promote um, uh, girls as in like make things more um, not friendly but as in like to understand that coding is not something that oh you have to uh, know a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of people changing careers and know nothing and then all of a sudden you you find yourself coding. I'm an architect and I'm used to it with using a lot of applications, programs and like to do 2D, 3D um, things for, for my project. So that in itself, it's actually coding. And we use it in different forms and we're not actually even thinking about it but throughout our lives, I mean using even certain gadgets and things, we use programming and coding somehow. But this is actually going behind everything else and actually understanding how how even those blocks of um, like codes um, work. And it's fascinating and when you see the implication and how you can use um, what you will learn is like to code because in the beginning it's like oh it's like oh it's gonna be hard and I'm not gonna be able to do this or for instance if you, you start with HTML and CSS because that's where you should start uh, oh, whatever uh, there's a lot of developers out there or like entrepreneurs that offer this type of solutions where you don't still have to build your own website anymore you just manage it and you have a lot of tools but it's more than just that it affects the way you think and for me it was basically a natural progression because I'm somebody that understands structures and I work with structures and, and language and I'm good at that also so um, it was like a natural transition it was like okay it's time to do this I didn't know why but I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it uh, but definitely I'll play it and I am willing to learn more and um, see what I can come up with um, Anyways, if you want to actually 
give it a shot and you should because that's really the future and that's where actually most of the jobs in the next 10 to 20 years are going to be and there is going where the money is um, and if you have a problem like saying oh I don't want to read like those nasty textbooks that are just unfriendly and just a lot of text uh, well there's a solution what I discovered by actually taking this um, endeavor um, I went online and um, you should give it a uh, try for instance uh, uh, like Code Academy, Code Academy which is um, this company that um, helps people around the world to code and they have beautiful classes for beginners um, to just like dive into and not worry that oh I'm, I'm not good or whatever so definitely check out Code Academy uh, I'm going to link everything below with all the information that I'm going to talk about in this, in this video. But uh, that's one, how should I say, one tool. There's many other websites and resources. And um, uh, But if you want to go a little bit deeper and if you want to actually have something to read and take extra notes, then I suggest you take John Duckett's book. This is HTML and CSS. But it's a very beautiful book. It's um, it's like a design book. It's very well structured, and um, it's not that dry, unpleasant uh, thing that you see in most books of this kind. And um, it uh, it's it's very well structured, and it. Um, Besides the theoretical part, it gives you examples and how you can apply these things. So it's all, um, how should I say, implemented. It's not just um, airy fairy or abstract concept concepts that you learn about and you don't know what to do with them and yeah, how, how to implement them in in your life or on this path. So it's very useful. Um, yeah, I. Uh, I hope you give coding a try, and because uh, I gave, if I gave it, then you should do. Um, it's fascinating, and um, I don't know. Actually, for me, the ridiculous part is actually it, it helps me write better, and um, it gives me even more of a structure mind. I already have a structure mind, but it's fascinating how this actually helps you even more and with clarity and. It's fascinating, so definitely try coding. This is the future. Uh, don't don't see it as something just the geeks do. Actually, being a geek is cool. And um, I know that there's been a lot of um, negative kind of press towards um, technologies, like oh, the AI is going to uh, do nasty stuff. And um, but let's think this way: if we, this is a tool, technology is a tool. And if you use it properly, if you have the right mindset, uh, the, the right uh, mind landscape, well, you can do great things. So imagine if you're somebody who has, somebody who's developed and has a, a, a beautiful mind landscape and perspective and understanding of life, and then you know how to code. Imagine what you can do with that. So um, yeah, I'll leave you with that and, um, I hope to hear some feedback and in the future maybe I'll make more videos about coding. Okay, have a nice day. Ciao!